The Shorewood girls basketball team wears the Woodland East Conference crown for the second year in a row. But that's not to say that they haven't known their fair share of defeat. Before last year, these back-to-back -back conference champs hadn't seen a conference title here at Shorewood since 1973. When the seniors started as freshmen, they, uh, the program was really in bad shape. We hadn't won many games. And uh, they have now, as juniors and seniors, they have now won the Woodland Conference East title two times in a row, which is pretty amazing. They, they uh, certainly, as, as the year before the seniors started, we had lost 55 straight conference games, which is hard to believe. I mean, you're talking over a three and a half year period. So what they've accomplished is, is quite amazing. My freshman and sophomore years especially, we were definite underdogs. We would go into playing teams and like, oh, I hope we don't lose by more than 30. And now it's like, oh, I hope we don't win by less than 30. So um, it was definitely, it put a lot more pressure on us, but it showed how like we could work together and we could feed off each other and um, end up winning those games. Most of these girls are multi-sport athletes, with many of them even being on the same volleyball team. So they all know each other extremely well, making them a cohesive unit on the court. Shorewood is like a small community, so there's already like a sense of community here. But being a part of these different things that Shorewood offers is really awesome because you're even in like a closer knit situation. So if I have a problem, I can go to any one of my teammates or my coach for that matter with my problem. And like they're always, they're always kind of there for you. And so that's really nice. We went from being super unexperienced and not really like playing together very well to being able to play together for three to four years, um, building on each of the four, each of the three to four years, and ultimately now we we're smarter, we trust each other more, and we know the strengths and weaknesses of everyone. Having accomplished their goal of another conference championship title, these Greyhounds now have their sights set on advancing further than they've previously gone in the postseason. So now we go to the tournament, and I think to really put a icing uh, on the cake, so to speak, the girls need to advance, you know, past that, past the Friday night, play Saturday, and certainly we'd like to be able to go play Thursday night. Congratulations, Sherwood, on your outstanding achievements this year and for being the Robert Hack Diamonds Team of the Week.